Today we're going to take this photo and turn it into a beautiful text portrait. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. If you'd like to use the same image as I'm using today, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing we need to do to make our text portrait is to type out some text. So press T for your text tool, and then press anywhere in the page to begin typing. I found that this effect works best if you write in all caps and only write one or two words per line. Now that I have my text all written out, I'm just going to highlight all of it and then change the font and also change it from left aligned to right aligned. The other problem is that our text is spaced too far apart. We can change this by coming up to the character panel and then changing the leading override from whatever you have it at to a lower number. Mine's set to 300, but I think I'll lower it to maybe 150. That looks much better, so I'm going to exit out of this and then select my move tool and make my text a little bit bigger and then put it in the center. The next thing we need to do is to put the picture inside of the text. To do this, we're going to select the background layer and then press Command or Control J to duplicate it. With a duplicate copy of the background, we're going to drag it down and to the right of the text layer. It doesn't look like anything's changed right now, but if we uncheck the background layer, you can see that we now have the photo inside of the text. However, once we turn the original background layer back on, the effect is ruined. To solve this, we're going to make a black rectangle on the left side of the photo. So grab your rectangle tool, and then click and drag a rectangle going across the left side. Right now the rectangle is inside of this group, which we can open up by pressing on the triangle, and we want to move it in between this group and the original background layer. With the black rectangle in place, we have now finished a beautiful text portrait. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our text portrait tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new tutorial every Saturday. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.